What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create ropes and cables. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. Alright, so what we are going to be using today is going to be the cable component and by tweaking some of the parameters we can achieve different things as ropes and cables and so on. So for example, let's go ahead and you know just add a new you know sphere to our level and we will attach a rope to this sphere. So now in the details panel we can add a new component to this actor which is the sphere and I can just search for cable and here it is. So I can just click enter and we have this cable going on and of course, you know, I can move the start positioning, leave it here, get its end location, move it and so on. As you can see, we can already start to play around with the settings. Another thing that we can do is of course add a material to this rope, right? And you know, we can say to attach the start point or not, it will just kind of bounce, attach to the end point. And we can also attach it to a specific actor, we will see that in a second, into a specific socket. Imagine you want to attach it to a skeletal mesh into a bone, for example, the player's head or whatsoever. Then we can manually, you know, play around with the end location. But we also have this gizmo, which we can select, which is pretty neat. And then we can change, you know, the cable length. How long will this cable be? But of course, you can see that it's kind of like low poly. There's a lot of um, kind of sharp angles. Well, in that case, what you can do is increase the number of segments. You could put like 20. And now the rope will be, as you can see, more detailed because there's like more segments for the cable. So, you know, you can play around with the values to basically get what we want. For example, we could be like the 15, increase a bit the length. And, you know, we can start to move around the cable to I don't know here and when I press play you can see that we have the rope here and it kind of moves with physics right now of course right now this rope doesn't have collisions okay but what we can do is you know select the cable component and you know turn on collisions uh, I believe that it is here under events enable collision and as you can see when we interact with our player uh, if I manage there we go I can kind of you know move it around and of course it kind of go through it at a certain point but that's really because you know it goes over my head as you can see uh if i go fast it kind of looks like it goes through my body but it's just physics is unreal okay <laughs> it kind of goes through but you can play around with the number of segments and so on to be more accurate uh, but that's you know uh, not going to be covered in this tutorial but you can see that now it has collision and it is interacting with the character pretty neatly now let's go ahead and attach this you know end point of the cable into another actor right so i could go and add another uh, sphere or cube or whatever you know add another sphere this is the sphere 2 well now i can select the cable component and go to the end to point right and attach a actor i can pick it up in the level and then of course remember to reset the location right and here zero and i will be at the center of that actor right and now I can move this other actor and it will go ahead and follow this over here. And you know, we can start to achieve very cool things. As you can see, sometimes they have collisions on at the beginning play, kind of move a lot of the cables. So that's really because it's kind of also inside of the sphere. You can play around with that. But you can see that <laughs> we are attaching this rope or a cable, however you want to interpret it you know, between two uh, actors or components, whatever you would like. And of course, there's a lot of, um, you know, settings that you can tweak here with the uh, cable length, the number of segments, the solver iterations, and the stiffness and so on to kind of modify it and make it more as a rope, make it more as a cable, make it more as a uh, thing, thing, I don't know, whatever, right? Uh, there's even uh, cable forces and so on. So this is, uh, you know, totally customizable and so on. Uh, you could also, like I mentioned before, attach this to a skeletal mesh. So for example, to the player, maybe the player is, you know, hanging from a place and it is attached to the uh, hips, right? And so on. So there's a lot of things that you can do to play around with this, uh, you know, component. I massively recommend, you know, to use it 
in a lot of cases. Uh, let's set this to movable, movable, and now I can move this around also in play mode and it looks very cool so you know uh that's it guys i found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out uh remember they have full access to the profiles from patreon or youtube members um join my discord server to talk with me and other devs check out my new course with game dev tv how to make a stealth game in unreal follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye